Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my Magical Earth for probably December? I don't really know. I think this is for December 2021. So hello and welcome guys. If you're new to my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription box, tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And like I said, we're going to do our Magical Earth because my um, subscriber and friend Cheryl had... Um, recommended this box and it was a great great recommendation. Cheryl actually said to do the herbalism box. I'm excited. I'm going to try that one. Um as soon as I uh as soon as I can. <laughs> All right. So this box also when you subscribe to it, you put in your birthday and they do some astrology stuff um geared towards you. So that is in here. So we've got so it actually runs like with astrology. So this is talking about uh, December 21st through January 19th. Excuse me. So this would be Capricorn season. It would it be this box? So we get this little card. My boyfriend just, he's um, on the cusp. So his birthday is January 19th. So he's on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. And then I'm like, my birthday is like five days later and I'm an Aquarius. All right, so it says this month we celebrate the winter solstice. This is the shortest day of the year and the longest period of darkness. This is the time to honor and acknowledge the ending and embrace new beginnings. Reflect, release, let go, and set your intentions for the new season. We wish you a very happy holiday season and a wonderful new year. And I will not look at the rest of that. So um, this talks about something else. We'll do that in a minute. So this is my astrological information. So they have like a little pamphlet dealy in here and it kind of just tells me what's, you know, what to be expected. So it's got my Aquarius um, horoscope and then it's got this booklet that talks about um, like what's going to happen like last quarter moon, new moon, and then I believe that all of this is geared towards me. I mean like Aquarius. So anyways, Mercury enters Aquarius, Sun trend Uranus, Mercury trend, blah, 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 blah. All right. It's by the Painted Goddess. So you always get one of these. So I will take a look at that later. Lots of information. And if I could ever get time to do my, um, I've got so many like witchy courses sitting on my computer waiting for me to do. Um, and I will, as soon as I stop working overtime, I'm gonna be more witchy. I'm gonna get back into my witchiness. <laughs> All right, so my card, like my tarot reading, why? It's the Three of Swords, y'all. All right, so the Three of Swords is usually like betrayal and heartache, and it's usually like got a heart with three swords in it. So it says Three of Swords. The Three of Swords represents rejection, sadness, loneliness, heartbreak, betrayal, Separation and grief. Such events feel so painful because they are unexpected. However, the Three of Swords often serves as a warning sign to show when one or more of these are possible. By preparing for this difficult event, the emotional blow can be minimized or even prevented entirely. That said, pain, sorrow, and grief are often a necessity in the journey of life. Without pain, there would be no challenge and no lessons learned. That's very true. Pain can be a great motivator because it encourages you to surmount obstacles and ultimately learn from your mistakes, which I make all the time. Usually it has to do with me opening my mouth. You could ask my boss. <laughs> Each challenge you encounter creates that initial pain, which is inevitably turned into an opportunity to grow stronger and to change the direction of your life as a result of the lessons learned. While the pain may cloud your vision for a certain period, it will eventually allow you to see clearly and to put the past behind you. Though life seems meaningless at the time, recovery can and will occur. It takes faith, self-love, forgiveness, and time. The Three of Swords is also about release. When you have suffered a major setback or loss, it is a good time to have a good cry, which is all part of the cleansing process. Expressing your sadness and letting it all out will then help you to move on to better times. However, it is also important that you help it's also important that you continue to focus on the future path ahead. There can be a risk that you may become overly absorbed in the loss and the surrounding emotions that you lose sight of the need to just let go and move on. Very good. I will 
think about that and figure out what um, my lesson is that I need to learn. All right, so we first have a smoke bundle. Um, is it, where is it at? Why isn't, I don't see it. Okay. Cedar sage, okay, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known that. So we have a cedar sage smoke bundle. Very nice. They don't really put a lot on here. No, like not a lot of explanation. Just kind of like this is what you've got. So there's that. And then we have a sodalite crystal in here. They give you a little card. So this is my sodalite. It looks like it's got other, well, it's got a lot of white in it. Um, but there's my blue. So it's a sodalite, inner peace. This stone will bring calmness to your mind. It will encourage uh, objectivity, truth, and intuition. What time is that? Okay. It will bring you emotional balance to, to even make the stone better. It will enhance your self-esteem and self-acceptance and self-trust. With the season, with the season we are in, this is the perfect stone. The stress we feel every day during this time of year. This stone will just make you feel better as a person. The icing on the cake is that it is a lucky stone, and if you want it. If you want, it can enhance feng shui, ooh, I need that, <laughs> in your home or office. Enjoy this most amazing stone. Ooh, I need some feng shui. Um, it almost looks like a heart. Like, look, didn't it look like a heart? I it's in the shape of a heart. Uh, I could totally use this to reduce my stress. I, I mean, really, my stress will be reduced as soon as I stop working overtime. Okay. Then we have um, kind of like a, a few pieces that go together. First, we have like a little mojo bag. It's a leather little pouchy bag. There it is. And then, um, let me see. And it says stones. For your pouch, see enclosed card. Okay, so I have a, a crystal pouch medicine bag. What is a medicine pouch used for? A medicine pouch was a special sacred container for various objects or amulets used by a medicine man or shaman to carry medicine consisting of objects or symbols of animal spirits, good luck, protection, and strength in battle. Prayers and rituals invariably accompanied the making and opening of medicine pouches. Our crystal pouch is our interpretation of a medicine bag. We provided the tools for you to decorate your pouch if you desire. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pull out like the things. So we've got some thread, a little thing, majigger of thread. Didn't I tell one of these boxes the last time? I don't know how to sew. <laughs> and then we've got a thimble, needle, and beads. How cute. <laughs> Um, I need to learn to sew. Okay. I love that they gave me a thimble because, listen, girlfriend's going to hurt herself. Um, and then we got our leather bag. We also included some stones. You can choose any ingredients you want to include in your bag. You can research and add herbs or talismans. Stone we included are... Um, hold on. I feel like there's one missing. Oh, maybe it's this. Okay, I think it's these in here. Let me move these over here. Um, there's a little red sachet with some, some baby crystals. Um, it makes more sense because the other crystals I've got are like bigger. So uh, I forgot, this box is, it is very geared toward crystals. So you do get a decent amount of crystals in here, which is fabulous. Okay, so we have a fire and ice quartz. I feel like I got a fire and ice quartz in another box recently. It says, resonates with the tree of life, awakens all the chakras and stone, all the chakras, stone of purification. Then we have an amethyst. It says master healer and protection. And then we have an onyx. And it says uh, amulet for protection against negative energy. And then we have a carnelian. That's a theme, like I got carnelians in another box. Self-esteem and grounding. 
I love, I actually love carnelian. It says you can also use your cedar sage to help purify your bag once completed. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll put these back in this little guy until I can do like a little ritual situation um, with this. Fun. Ugh, okay. Next up, we have a red tiger's eye. Do I have one of these? Oh, you know what though? I said that they don't say a lot in here, but they do put like these cards. So just kidding. This card doesn't have a lot on it, but they, they do include um, information. Ooh, this tiger's eye is pretty. Hopefully you guys can see how pretty it is. Okay, it says red tiger's eye. Promotes inner peace, promotes calmness. At the same time, it will give you courage, strength, and assertiveness. The stone helps you to bring your body and your mind into a state of calm. In that process, you will complete tasks and achieve your goals. Passion and stimulation. It feels like you're joining the sun and the earth together as one. It will promote self-care and self-love so that you can guard and nurture yourself. Keep a piece of red tiger's eye stone in your bag, inside your car, or in your medicine kit. Make sure that you're never without it. Oh, awesome sauce. Cool. Love it. So, so far, we've received the sodalite, whoops, um, the red tiger's eye, and then I got those three, or excuse me, four crystals for the medicine bag, um, four small uh, crystals. So now we have a raw crystal in here. Where's my card at? Uh, diopside? I don't know that I have a, I don't know that I have one of these. It's raw. Ooh, look, it's party. It's nice. Cool. Okay, diopside. If you feel overburdened or overwhelmed by the problems of life, it teaches you how to live life with appreciation and joy. It promotes and enhances your ability to feel and honor your real thoughts, emotions, and feelings. This stone opens the heart and the mind to others by promoting compassion for the suffering of others and yourself. It teaches you the value of trust and forgiveness. It is excellent for relaxation, stress relief, and finding your emotional center. It brings emotional renewal and helps you put your problems into perspective. Cool. All right. I think we have one more item. Make sure, yes. So we have a agate gratitude necklace. So it is a slice of agate with, I'm assuming this is a gratitude sigil. And it's on like a, probably like a pleather cord. <laughs> this pleather. Um, actually, this cord is not bad at all. Sometimes these like leather, maybe it's not. I don't know, it seems like it. Some of those, like, pleather is what I call them. Um, they get all funky and weird, but this one seems like it's going to hold its shape. Look at this guy. Nice. Oh, awesome. And it doesn't really say anything about it. It just says that it's uh, a gratitude, um, gratitude agate necklace pretty so what is your favorite item guys i don't know like i'm excited to make the um the medicine crystal bag thing this diopside is like pretty huge i love getting crystals like all of it's great i really love that they give you like astrological stuff for the month um and this necklace is pretty freaking huge and fab so I would love to hear what you guys think of this box. Leave me a comment below what you think. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, guys, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. My phone is blowing up. Um, <laughs> and if you're already a subscriber, thanks guys so much. And I appreciate when you guys let me know uh, great boxes out there so I can try them out. Or if there's a box that you guys are interested in, and you would like me to try it out for you and so you can kind of see what it's all about i would love to do that just give me a holler and um yeah so thanks guys so much for tuning in and until next time have a great day
Bye.